Hey, I want you to go on a flight of the imagination with me for just a moment. Be warned, we're heading to the red light district of your psyche for just a minute. Uh, don't be afraid to explore a bit, but keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times so as to not catch any STDs. Here we go. I want you to picture thigh-high red fishnet stockings above a pair of shiny black stiletto heels. Maybe those fishnets have got a little tear in them here and there. Above that, a silky black thong so barely there it almost doesn't count. Above that, a black stringy bra so tiny it makes the thong look like a boat sail. You got everything in your mind so far? Good. Because above that is a grizzled and bearded face of a long-haul trucker on about his fifth or sixth straight night of sleeping in the back of his rig. His scent is Oda chewing tobacco, and his pronouns are get over and here. Yes, folks, it's hazy and sulfur-smelling fast times in the latter days upon which we uneasily rest our collective moralistic laurels. If you just choked on your Mountain Dew the way I did the first time I read about today's topic, you have my apologies, but at least you can't say you weren't worn. Lingerie for men. Let's talk about it. This latest left-leaning gender bend is, of course, framed by its supporters as the newest and bestest in inclusivity. Straight from the fraught pages... Of the New York Times, a newspaper with which the best thing you could do is rest it firmly between your butt cheeks for one reason or another, comes the story of undergarments that are more gender expansive than a jockstrap. The goal, of course, is to frolic among the leaves of the modern word salad, tripping and tripping the light fantastic across ideas such as body positivity and sex positivity. Why can't we all just revel in the destruction of gender separation as we know it? Why not ring in a new era in which human beings are free to fluidly roam from moment to moment inhabiting the amorphous phantasms of gender created and varied by their feelings? Why not, you might suggest, topple that old dominant paradigm in favor of a new one? Because, of course, that's what this is. Sure, there are a fair number of fellas out there whose delight it is to live in the land of make-believe and play dress-up. It's brash, it's rebellious, it's what their old fogey parents would hate. But what hides behind that is a leftist mindset, a deeper motive that underpins and frames the social construct upon which these notions lie. Don't kid yourself, folks. Once again, we're seeing another facet of an ideology which cares absolutely not a damn bit about the human beings it sacrifices on the altar of eternal change toward an ever-feeling, fleeing utopia. But hey, who am I to judge what you do if you're a man and you want to feel like a natural woman? And if wearing a uh, dujure is the only way you can accomplish that, then power to you, my friend. Power to you. Hell, I think it'd be funny to have some... Some of that merch in my store, Chris. <laughs> Maybe a Teddy for Teddy, something like that. Folks, it's a mad, 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 mad world, and we have a little, we got to live it right alongside these crazy weirdos, and that's okay as long as we don't lose perspective the same way they're doing. Just keep your wits about you and always check for a wiener, and you'll be okay. At least until all hell breaks loose, which is probably coming sooner rather than later. Chris, we've got to get some of this. We've got to get some of this lingerie. This dude jure, if you will. Oh, yeah. They're doing that. They're doing that. Put that, look at the legs. Look at the gams on that guy. Look at the, look at the calves on that cat right there. That's a straight, is that, is that Colin Kaepernick? Oh. Oh. It looks like he's taking a knee. And he's got the fro. Now we know why he couldn't throw a freaking football. Now why you know why he got sidelined? Yeah. Hard to throw a football when you're dicking your ass. Oh! Uh 